Today, we're covering a $10,000 fake Tiffany card scam. Now, this was discovered by my good friend, Nick at tiffanycards.com. Make sure to go check him out. Now, first, if you don't know what a Tiffany card is, these were premium sets that Topps created from 1984 to 1991. These cards had a different card stock. They used gloss on the front, and they are actually a form of scarcity during the junk wax era. A lot of people say all junk wax cards are worthless. However, Tiffany cards are valuable. You can take a look at some recent comps of the 1986 Barry Bonds or a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie from 1989. They are expensive. So normally how this scam works is someone will post a picture of a Tiffany card and then they'll actually send you the normal Topps card and the buyer is unaware of the difference between the two different ones. They know the Tiffany card is rare, but they really can't tell the difference. On some years, you can flip over the card in the back and look at the star numbers. It's different for everything, so make sure to take a look online when you're purchasing a card. However, in 1989, traded where this Ken Griffey Jr. card is, they have the same exact stars on the back, and if you turn them over, they both are bright colored. Now, there's three ways that you can tell that these cards have been altered to add into the gloss. The first is the smell. It smells like chemicals. A normal card will not do this. It's, however, he's adding in the gloss onto it. The second way is the thickness. You can see on the screen right now the thickness of a normal tops card the tiffany card and now the altered fake tiffany each of them are a different thickness this is very tough to tell if you are at a card show or if you're just looking at pictures online but this would be something that you would have to take a look at and lastly these cards are still using the standard tops cardboard stock can't really change it into that high premium one that tiffany is using and you can see the side image right now comparing the three different examples. Now, Genpa7399 is buying a lot of 1989 Topps traded cards on eBay and then altering them at home and reselling them as Tiffany cards. And this has been confirmed by another eBay seller that shows right here that Genpa bought cards off of them, these Ken Griffey Juniors. Now, Nick at Tiffany Cards got the same exact Ken Griffey Jr. identical, matched up the characteristics as you see on the screen now and this has been added with the fake gloss. Now, as of this moment, 35 fake Tiffany Ken Griffey Juniors have been sold, which is just short of $9,700. But the scary part is Genpa is also selling some graded cards through SGC. So guys, if you're going out there and buying a raw Tiffany card, be extremely careful right now. If you're SGC or eBay, please take a look into the seller, see if any of these cards have gone through authentication or if these cards have been graded because they are out in the market. And if you guys wanna learn more about fake sports cards, make sure to check out my book, Spotting Fakes. You can find it on Amazon, about 200 pages showing you guys different ways that you can authenticate cards and showing the differences between real and fake of some of the top 50 fake cards in the hobby. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.